Hello and welcome to Just Calvin Movie Reviews. Today we're talking about the 2005 film Kiss Kiss Bang Bang, directed by uh, Shane Black, um, who uh, wrote uh, Lethal Weapon. Um, so he's a pretty solid guy. Um, I think he also did the new Predator movie, which I've heard is horrible. So, you know, maybe, may, uh, who knows. Um, but I really enjoyed this film. Um, it has Robert Downey Jr. in it, Val Kilmer, Michelle Monaghan, and this is Robert Downey Jr. pre-Iron Man, because Iron Man was 2008, um, so this came out in 2005, so three years before. Um, and I really, really enjoy this movie. It's a film, uh, it's a neo-noir, which is, means it's related to film noir, which is just something I love. I love, like, detective stories, um, and this is sort of like a love letter to those, like, detective stories. There's these, uh, um... There's these little books in the throughout the film um, that are like referenced repeatedly, called like Johnny Gosner lo novels, um, and they're like these old like paperback um, pulp fiction almost uh, like detective novels, um, and they just are um, they call back to it, and the story follows one of the plots like that. Like um, the sto the story is like very well done. It's sort of pokes fun at like the genre of film noir while also being a very great film noir like you have Robert Downey Jr. as like the detective and he's being trained by Val Kilmer who's also like a detective um and they both are just so sarcastic and they're not like the nicest guys but like yet yeah, they have this like they work well together like it's a buddy cop film almost and I really enjoy that aspect of it um, and Michelle Monaghan is sort of like the femme fatale, and I really enjoy, uh, she's great in this film as well. Um, and they really, they're, all their performances come together to make this like really fun, almost a throwback to film noir, while also being like a good film noir that is funny, it's action-packed, um, and the story, it has a bunch of little details you miss the first time, but then you like pick up that on later. Like there's like these little, like there'll be little like, hints almost of what's going to happen later on in the film but you don't know it because you haven't seen the film yet so you're like oh that's nothing but then uh it uh comes back um and even like narration robbie downey jr narrates the film and he does it in sort of a funny way where sometimes he'll forget stuff and have to go back or sometimes he'll like he's sort of an unreliable narrator which i really think is funny and he has his like wry sarcastic sense of humor throughout the whole film um this film it's just a great film noir that I really really enjoy um, it has a lot of comedy in it the action is great and I mean this is like this is probably this is like when Robert Downey Jr. like this is one of my favorite films of him like Iron Man is like a great film but I love this one more just because like I love his performance he's like the sarcastic detective and it's just a very enjoyable part for him that he plays quite well and he's like also like sort of inept in this film um, which I also like because I mean I like it when your characters are just sort of not the best at the job but they're doing the job um, and he also is like a very nice dude in the film like he has like a soft side where you see like he like looks after people um, and Val Kilmer is great in this um, he's always great in films but I mean in this he's like the sarcastic guy who <laughs> just he always is like being sarcastic to Robert Downey Jr. Val Kilmer is great as this sarcastic dude, and it's probably one of my favorite performances for him. I mean, I haven't really seen a lot of Val Kilmer. I've seen him in, like, Top Gun as uh, Iceman, but other than that, I haven't seen much Val Kilmer, so, you know, this is sort of a first. Um, yeah, I, this film is it's a truly great film noir that, like, pokes fun at the genre while also just being a great one, and I love re-watching it, because every time I re-watch it, I find new little, like, hidden nuggets of fun throughout where you're like oh man I did not know that and that like helps out the mystery like you get to solve it almost like a little bit earlier because of it and uh yeah uh I think it is a really watchable film the only flaws I think it has is it's a little bit slow after um after they think they've solved the case there's like a little bit of slowness after that um and I always think it's a little bit slow after that, but I think it's it's not too much because I mean it's only slow for like five minutes maybe, and then all of a sudden it get kicks back up into being awesome. Um, and then uh, some of the special effects are a little uh, they're a little bad. Um, there's a uh, a particularly gross looking shot of like a 
it's like a sky, skyline of LA and it's like colored really weird and sort of gross and I think that's just part of it being from the early 2000s. Unfortunately, they really colored films weird back then. There's a lot of like yellows if you go back to that time and like these like weird like greens and stuff like it's and blue they liked a lot especially in movie posters they always have like yellow and blue um but other than that um this film is great it has and i love it and i highly recommend it um especially if you like detective um films because it's sort of like a pulpy detective and i just I, i love it um so yeah i recommend it wholeheartedly um this thursday i'm gonna be reviewing um I'm going to be reviewing uh, Eternal Sunshine of the Spotless Mind, uh, one of my favorite films. I've only seen it once um, because it's very depressing, uh, if I remember right, um, but I love it. Um, and it's a Jim Carrey performance, and I love him in it. And then on Tuesday, I have another film that I haven't seen in a while, but I love. Um, it's the Crocodile Hunter Collision Course. I've literally not seen this since I was five, but Steve Irwin was my one of my heroes growing up. So, you know, I loved this film as a kid. I had it on VHS, I think. Um, it didn't get to Blu-ray. It's only on DVD, you know? That's unfortunate, because um, it would probably look beautiful in Blu-ray. But, you know, I, I it's, it's an upgrade from the VHS copy I had as a kid, you know? Um, and I watched it repeatedly as a kid. Um, and so I'm really looking forward to looking watching it. I saw the trailer, and it looks so cheesy and lovable. And, hey, you know, uh, Roger Ebert and Roper uh, gave it two thumbs up. So, I mean, if, it, if Roger Ebert loves it, uh, you know... I guess I just liked good stuff as a kid. I don't know. <laughs> we'll watch it, and I think I'll. I think it'll be an enjoyable watch. Um, but yeah, I hope you're all staying positive in this uh, time. And you know what? I, I appreciate you all. Thank you for watching these reviews. Um, they, I like. It, it keeps me going. You know, talking about my passion. Um, so yeah, thank you for watching.